When my oldest son woke up last Saturday, he looked outside at the fresh snow cover, then looked at me, and probably echoed the sentiments of many of you when he said in a weary sort of way, will this be the last accumulating snow of the season? Well, let's see what climatology can tell us. Let's start by looking at the date of the latest measurable snow on record for a few places. In the southeast, it's the last week of April, the 27th in Philadelphia, the 28th in Harrisburg. Farther north, the latest measurable snow on record in State College in Williamsport is May 9th in different years. The latest on record in Pittsburgh was on May 25th, way back in 1925. Now these are the extremes, but it's also interesting to see how the date of the last measurable snow varies from year to year. We'll divide the months in half and count how many times the last measurable snow fell into each half month. I looked at the last 50 years of data, and I'll start in Philadelphia, where there's a lot of variation. Most commonly, the last measurable snow falls in the second half of March, and early April and early March are next likely. About 20% of the time, however, it's in February, and there have even been a few years earlier than that. In fact, there was no measurable snow in Philadelphia in the winter of 1972-73. Now let's head west to Harrisburg. The biggest differences are, first, we no longer have any years when the last measurable snow fell in early February or before that. And second, we see an even greater dominance of the latter half of March as the most common time. Early March and early April are still about equally likely. Now let's head northwest to State College. We increase the elevation by about 700 feet and there's a pretty dramatic shift of the last measurable snow to later in the spring. The most likely time now is uh, firmly in the first half of April, which is about twice as common as the second half of March. Late February and early March are now completely out of the picture, and the probability that the last measurable snow will occur in the second half of April or even later is almost 20%. If we now head west across the mountains to Pittsburgh, we see just a subtle shift. The peak is still in the first half of April, more than half the years, but compared to State College, it's a little less likely for the last accumulating snow to occur in the second half of March. In fact, it hasn't occurred any earlier than March 21st in Pittsburgh in the last 50 years, and more than a quarter of the time, it's after April 15th. Finally, let's head up I-79 to Erie. We find a nearly identical climatology. 60% of the time, the last measurable snow occurs in the first half of April. Yet another example of the powerful influence that Lake Erie plays in controlling the climate of western Pennsylvania. And so you can probably guess what I told my son. At least based on climatology, unless you're southeast of the mountains, chances are you haven't seen the last measurable snow yet. We'll see what Paul Knight has to say about that in the extended forecast next.